Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now with the Ladies official introduction, here is, is Bruce Buff. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Lee Summit, Missouri, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Just unable to quite find that range. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch landed in the middle. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, 
Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Circling to his right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Let's get work, work, do something. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. They continue to exchange. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh! Head kick! Oh! That one's a nice strike. Fifteen seconds. Powerful leg kick land. Seconds winding down in the opening round. And he landed the right hand there. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick lands. Blocks the shot. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just a slip there. Head kick. Circling to his right. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Effective punch there by Lee. Beautiful body to play right under the elbow. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That's a good right hand right there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Three minutes. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, just misses with the kick. Real nice body kick. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. And he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Punch over the top. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the left there. That punch no good. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Big kick land. Final seconds here of round number two. Oh, big right hand, yes. All right, that's the end of round number two.
All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. This next round, I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Damaging strike there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just misses with the straight right. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Thank you. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. Nice spinning attack to the body, lands for him. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Man. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Straight punch land. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Ooh, what a head kick. Right punches there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Yeah. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. 
collar tie. Switching stances here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. You're losing this fight. You need to get your head back in the game. Remember the training. You need to push the pace now. You are better than this dude. Hands up. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. How good is that right hand? Oh, wow! Head kick! Big knee! Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Real sneaky body kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Just over three minutes to go. Under three minutes remain in round four. Connects with a right. Big body kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Body kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces. Beautiful punch. 
Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy deploy his kick-heavy strategy. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at him chopping the wood. He's chopped the wood with those leg kicks. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Great punch. Oh, big head kick there. for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. He blocks the shot. Let it go now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Fighters gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. What a body kick. You're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Slips to avoid the run. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, are not in the this fight. Good one. Beautiful leg kick throw. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Done. He's got him hurt very badly. Now he has to find one more strike to 
in the night. Under two minutes now with which to work. Big head kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Good night if that landed. Keep your hands up. And he switches his stance yet again. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. One minute to go in the fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, the thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stands. Effective strike there by Lee. Beautiful combination there. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, Pretty easy fight to score, yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate the 